Smith, Mr. Dirk Prouder. How do you do? Something wrong with the report? Oh, it was quite thorough. But I'm also interested in what's not in it. There's nothing not in it. Your opinion of him isn't. He's clean, in my opinion. Uh, you mean he's hygienic? He's who he presents himself to be. When Your report is you're making it, I'm assuming you can look a little bit at a monitor or at a video or at something of you. What was your first reaction to seeing you in this full makeup? Pierced hair, the whole deal. You know, I don't know because I kind of got used to all the elements one by one. You know, we cut we cut the hair and shaved it and dyed it and bleached the eyebrows mm -hmm. in one afternoon, and then um, I was pierced later that afternoon, and then I had like a week to get used to that part, and then we did all these makeup tests, um, and I had time to get used to that part, and then the wardrobe. So it kind of happened slowly. Is there some residual Lizbeth in you, even as you're sitting here talking to me? I don't know. I think uh, it's probably an easier um, question for you know the people in my life that, that know me really well. Have they behaved strangely towards you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know how my behavior toward them yeah. has changed. You know, I think I had a lot of her in me to begin with, and, and maybe it was brought out a little bit more, but um, it's what, been enough what's time. What's the quality in you that, that you share with her? Um, you know, I'm, I also am, am a very introverted, sort of quiet person. I don't really, uh, I can be quite nonverbal at times. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very slow to warm like she is and slow to trust people. And um, I definitely have to sort of investigate every, every th facet of something and, and I have to understand things fully before I'm willing to engage with them. And I think she definitely has that. Given that feeling that you had, being reticent, being a little shy, being all that, what made you say, I want to be an actress? I don't know. I think, I think a lot of actors tend to be shy. I think it's, it's kind of an escape for them. You know, for me, the, my favorite thing about acting uh, isn't necessarily the acting part. It's like you never really stop learning. You're constantly learning new skills and, and new things about people. And to me, that's really interesting and fun. Well, you have a sister that's an actress, Kate. Mm -hmm. right? So this is a big thing. But you come from this huge football family. Mm -hmm. it's, it would seem that it's everywhere. It's, it's two great grandfathers that, that found the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Giants. And not just football families, but two different teams. So what side are you on? You know, how do you <laughs> grow up deciding which team it is? Well, I didn't really grow up having a side, you know. Mm -hmm. um, now, you know, I, having lived in New York my whole life and my dad works for the Giants, I definitely root for the Giants mm -hmm. more. But you were once a Patricia. You were Trisha. Rooney yes, Mara. I was. And now, why did you get rid of Trisha? You know, I don't know. I never liked that name. And my dad goes by his middle name. My little brother goes by his middle name. It didn't seem that crazy to me to go by my middle name. But growing up, your parents saying when you decide that you want to do this, what are they thinking about it? Is it okay because your sister had already started by doing this? Well, I grew up, you know, with my mom taking me and my sister to, to the theater all the time. You know, we were always going to see Broadway plays, and she was constantly playing old movies for us. And Old movies? Oh. Yeah, she, like, she would play Gone with the Wind and Bringing Up Baby and Rebecca and... I guess movies that you really shouldn't be showing little kids, <laughs> but we really loved it, and um, you know, so I, I was taking sort of silly. Rebecca little is very Lizbeth, I think. You know? <laughs> I don't know about bringing a baby. Yeah. Um, so I was sort of taking silly little acting classes, you know, since I was really young, and I don't know. I don't think it seemed that strange to them. You made the comparison between you and Lizbeth as being reticent and observant and looking at the world around you before you made that decision. Mm -hmm. But somewhere along the line, there had to be that decision that you made was, I'm doing this. I'm going to do it. Or was it just this slow, gradual? It was a slow, gradual thing. Like I said, I, I, I refuse to engage in anything until I'm fully, uh, you know, sure that I'm capable of it. <laughs> <laughs> so it took a little bit of time for me to admit that that's what I wanted to do. I had to make sure that I knew I could do it. We all know that the girl with the dragon tattoo didn't stop there, that Steve Larson wrote two other books and, you know, even maybe another one that's mm -hmm. there. Are you contracted and signed to do uh, 
these other two movies if they happen? I am, yeah. Hopefully they'll ask me back. <laughs> no, we're going. <laughs> we're going in another direction. I could see that know. now. Yeah. Well, I think you kind of do know, you know <laughs> that you stick with that and do it. What five years from now would you like to be doing? Um, Besides the third. Of well, hopefully, <laughs> the third one will be long finished. Long finished. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, something different. I, I really like playing characters that you know, are sort of unrecognizable to the last one that I played. You know, I, like, I want to be able to keep transforming myself. Rooney, the way I end every one of these shows is to ask uh, everyone that sits there, writer, director, actor, whatever it is, to sing a little bit, a few bars <laughs> of some song that means something to them. I can't well, sing. Well, I doesn't, but that's what we love. We don't want people who are actually singers to do There's it. There's no Look way. At Remember, you. I told you I refuse to do anything that I'm not. I don't feel fully. I heard it, and I ignored it. I, 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 can't it. Sing. I went into I the same denial you, you did. I would rather listen to you sing. Yeah. Well, I could <laughs> sort of back up. I thought you would do a freestyle rap for I me can't. on that. Well, what about just telling me a song that um, means something to you? Telling you the words, or what? You it's could called? tell me the words. You don't have to sing it. You tell me what uh, it's the, You know, the song, I think they played over the end credits of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. It's called, Is Your Love Strong Enough? And that, I was sort of, list I listened to that all year while filming, and I was actually listening to it while we shot that end scene, so. So you know what we can do? We can do this 10 seconds of silence. Where? <laughs> and you can play it. You where? Can play it. We'll just play it through there. Okay. Is your love strong enough? Rooney, thank you thank so, you. Thank you so thank you much. Thank you so much. <laughs>